Hi, my name is Darren Joseph from HGJ.tax. We're the team that seeks to demystify this sometimes confusing world of international tax. And the privilege of having a deep conversation with Mark. Mark, can you please introduce yourself? I'm Mark Morris. I'm based in Switzerland. I've been here for about 26 years. I've specialized in automatic exchange of information, which originally was the EU Commission's EU Savings Tax Directive. And that went on until about 2014. And they scrapped that and they adopted the OECD's FATCA made into CRS. So can you share with us what it is you do professionally? Primarily, I mm -hmm. provide custodial services for mm -hmm. trusts to hold underlying entities or partnerships or unincorporated funds. So what I do is I provide the administration services for the custodial. I don't do the actual custody. And later on, I'll explain what administration services for custodial is. And uh, I'm an expert in CRS and CAF, and I certainly know the intricate differences between CAF and CRS. We'll get into that in a later question, okay? So I've published over 600 articles on LinkedIn, and I'm still writing about 10 a week. And I don't see other people covering 99% uh, of the topics on, on CRS that I cover. Okay, thank you. Can a settler resettle or decant an irrevocable trust? Why do this in the first place? First of all, yes, they can, unless it's specifically forbidden the deed. But generally, they can. If anybody can go Google why decant, because this is the word that's used in the States, but you can resettle a trust. So mm -hmm. the, there are many reasons. You want to change beneficiaries. You, you want to combine different trusts into one. You want to change the legal jurisdiction because you're no longer happy with the legal jurisdiction. You want to modify the terms of the trusteeship. So there are many reasons the trust terminate. There, there's dozens of reasons why somebody would. But one of the reasons that I focus on, when you resettle a trust, the settler is a financial institution. It's not the settler of that trust, mm -hmm. for serious purposes. Okay. So therefore, the trust that you resettle into, let's say it's in Singapore, doesn't report on the settler because they're a financial institution. There are reasons why you don't want, and now that trust might not report at all if it's in a non-participating jurisdiction. So there are reasons for it. And it's called resettle the trust outside of America. But there are certainly reasons to do that. Yeah, well, obviously, that'll be a definite upside for those who want privacy. Yes.